name is Dr. Nicole Kibler. I'm a chiropractor here at Arizona Pain Specialist. As chiropractors, we offer a drug-free hands-on approach to treating pain. Chiropractic itself is widely recognized as one of the safest non-invasive treatments for those um, with neuromusculoskeletal complaints, meaning those that have nerve, muscle, or spine-related problems. The most common procedure performed by a doctor of chiropractic is that of a spinal manipulation or chiropractic adjustment. The purpose of this type of treatment is really to restore motion into joints, alleviating pressure on nerves. In doing so, what we, what we do with the chiropractic adjustment or spinal manipulation therapy is that we introduce a mechanically applied controlled force into a joint that may be restricted or hypomobile as a result of tissue injury. Tissue injury can occur um, for a couple reasons. It can be the result of a single traumatic event, such as lifting something improperly, or as a result of repetitive stress or strain, like sitting in an awkward position for an extended period of time, having poor posture and doing so. As a result of these two situations, there are both chemical and physical changes that occur within the tissues themselves, resulting in inflammation, pain, and decreased function for the sufferer. The treatment of spinal manipulation not only restores proper movement, takes pressure off the nerves, but it also um, helps with tight muscles and encourages tissues to heal as well. Okay, I'm going to be demonstrating a few different chiropractic techniques. The majority of them are done hands-on, but some require the assistance of special instruments. So because each patient is different, your chiropractor will choose the most effective treatment for you. The first technique I'd like to demonstrate is that, is that of the toggle adjustment, which is where I'll press down firmly over that region of the spine where the joints are hypomobile or not moving very well, and with a quick and precise thrust, we'll adjust the vertebral segment in order to introduce motion into the joint again. Okay, so this is a demonstration of our toggle technique. So, McKenna, I'll have you take a deep breath in and out. Good, and all the way out. Okay. Wonderful. The next technique I'll demonstrate is that of a table drop technique. With a quick thrust, at the same time that that table's dropping, of course, we'll be able to introduce a movement into the pelvic region or lower back, which results in a much lighter adjustment. So this approach is very helpful for those patients that may have um, pelvic torsion, you know, hip alignment issues, or sacroiliac sacroili or SI joint dysfunction. So all of our tables are very um, comfortable. I know this may look a little bit intimidating, but we can adjust the table for those patients that may be pregnant or for those that may have a larger abdomen. Um, additionally, the drop piece is in the section here, so it just drops forward. So I'll demonstrate that drop type of adjustment. You'll hear, of course, a loud noise. That's just the table dropping downward. Again, this results in a much lighter and gentler type of adjustment. The next technique is that using the assistance of an instrument, a specialized instrument that's spring-loaded. And this type of in instrument is called an activator. It's a spring-loaded tool. You'll hear a clicking noise, but it's one of the gentlest forms of adjustment. So we like to use this technique for those patients that are, are what wish to avoid the clicking or popping type of adjustment, or for those that have osteoporosis. So on those segments of the spine where the joints may not be moving freely, we'll just do a little bit of pressure with the tool, introducing that very light, gentle motion. This is also a great technique to use for extremity adjusting, such as the carpal bones within the wrist itself. The final technique that I'll be discussing today is that called the lumbar roll spinal manipulation or chiropractic adjustment technique. In order to do this type of adjustment, we do a quick and precise thrust to through the area of the disc, nerve, or joint involvement, um, which helps restore proper motion within the joint. It really decreases pressure off those nerves as well. For this technique, many times we may hear a clicking or popping, which is actually a very positive thing, signifying that there's been some release of the pressure or gas within the joint itself. So for this technique, I'm going to be putting pressure on the lower back, counter pressure on the shoulder area. It's a very light movement, so I'm going to have you take a deep breath in and out. 
Good. Very good. Go ahead and relax your legs. Simple as that. In the hands of experienced chiropractors, all these techniques are very safe to use on um, disc problems, facet syndrome, pinched nerves, even spinal arthritis and stenosis. When visiting your chiropractor or Arizona pain specialist, just make sure you're being very specific about the symptoms you have, which will help us offer you the most effective and safest treatment available, even if that entails referring you to another healthcare provider. I'd like to encourage you to tune in to learn more about how chiropractic can help alleviate your pain and help you achieve your optimal state of wellness. Additionally, we'd like to discuss further how chiropractic fits in with the multidisciplinary approach to treating pain.